Sheffield. We're glad that everybody can be together on this 20th gift Sunday, one of our Advent celebrations. We hope that it will be something of meaning and inspiration for everybody as we worship God on this Sunday. I want to uh, refer to some of the announcements on the bulletin. If you would look first on the bottom of page 4, just a reminder that Wednesday is the Games Day for December at 1.30 in the afternoon. And then over on page 5, under, under upcoming church services, a reminder that next Sunday is our Christmas concert. We have lots of uh, good entertainment lined up for you. You'll get a chance to enjoy the uh, wealth of talent that we have here in our church. And bring along your favorite dish because there's a potluck lunch after church always on Concert Sunday. Now down under Rockton Sheffield events, it's Friday night of this week is the night when Harbor Town Sound uh, Barbershop Chorus members come here to sing for us. It's a joint project of uh, Rockton and Sheffield. There are still about 25 or 30 tickets available. So we would like to uh, sell all of those out if it's possible. Uh, so at see Harvey Wood after church, if you don't have your tickets yet, uh, as I say, we'd like to sell all of them. The profits are to a very worthy cause. They go to the Philippines Relief Fund. I'm going to leave uh, the rest of the announcements for your own reading. I want to say a word about uh, First Sisters. The other day, Karen Hunt sent me a note and said uh, um, over something like 80 verses had been distributed recently, but she needed another 12 before Christmas for the uh, Drummond House, and miracles of giving always happen. Very short order, we had those plus a few more, and you always need some to stock up for the future, don't you, Karen? Yes, absolutely. Now, I have a question, and I've asked a couple other people, but I don't have a good answer to this yet. How is it that women always have extra purses that they can donate to something like this? Ones that are, I mean, you ask for gently used. I mean, these are real gentle. <laughs> Time and they went to their mother's purse, and the solution to whatever their problem was was able to be found in there. And so that takes a lot of persistence. <laughs>
and also to hear. The sights and sounds of the Advent season are all around us. It's a season of celebrating miracles. Miracles come in all shapes and sizes. On White Gift Sunday, we are reminded of the miracle that occurs through giving and sharing. For giving and sharing are at the heart of the season. Our hymn, number, one, number 18, There's a Voice in the Wilderness Cry. <laughs>
Because we are so busy in this season, shopping for gifts, special events, gatherings with family and friends. We think about peace as we light our second candle. May it be with us and everyone this season. Dear God, may the light of this candle guide us and everyone in the ways that lead to peace filled living.
by the angel Gabriel, and it's, uh, she's told that she is going to have a child. And um, she thinks, well, how is this possible? Well, she, she goes to see her cousin Elizabeth, who is old and beyond the age of childbearing, and finds that, uh, in fact, her cousin Elizabeth is also expecting a child, and the, the end of the story is all things are possible with God. But this reflects on Mary, who walked in the sun.
during that time, could you <laughs> go and help bring the gifts and bring the people of rot and, and set them under the tree over there? And then after we do that, then we'll have the Lord's Prayer. Okay? So, joy to the world, hymn number 59.
We, we got a little, we're just getting our props ready. We've got a little, uh, we've got a little white gift uh, play for, for us this morning. <coughs> Sometimes these things take a while. <laughs> but it's worth the wait, so we won't be long. Now, this story is called The Miracle of the Red Maple Leaf. And it's set in the Sheffield Bald Island in the middle of December. And Alberta has found a red maple leaf lying on the ground. For her, it's a miracle that this red maple leaf should be lying there in the snow in the middle of December. The play unfolds as Alberta tries to get others as excited about her discovery as she is. What a boring time this is. Snow falling, school's not up for two weeks, sun hardly shines, boring. Just talking to yourself? <laughs> 
I found a red maple leaf on the path back there. Amazing, eh? Yeah. I think it's a miracle. Well, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Don't you think a red maple leaf in the summer is a miracle? Well, I do. Want a miracle? The trout can make the leaves and the one eating most of their babies. <laughs>
God, these are gifts we bring. We bring them that they might be blessed for use in the work of this church, in outreach to our community and our world. Bless these gifts we bring and all the other ways in which we give of ourselves. In Christ's name. God, to these <coughs> we add our own prayers. We bring to you those things which are dear to us, for which we give thanks. For the many blessings that we encounter each day, for the love that we share, for fun experienced in this <coughs> wonderful season of the year. We bring also to you those places in our hearts that are <coughs> concerned or upset from things we have experienced, things that have intruded themselves upon us. We offer all that we are and all that we do to you for gracious and eternal keeping. We pray for those others for whom we have concerns. Lift them up for care, for help, for grace, for hope. God, hear our prayers, and in your love and mercy, answer. Our concluding hymn, an old familiar Christmas carol, number 36, 
angels from the realms of glory.